everybody, welcome to Let's Die, the His versus Hers Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast. My name is Brett. I'm your boy, your host, with the ghost. With my other stuff, blah, blah, blah. Joining me today is a new guest. He is a podcaster himself, a fine young dandy of a man. His name is Mike Abbey. Mike, say hi. Hey, guys. How's it going? Mike. Real, real quick, I just wanted to thank you because this is the first like thing we ever did with another podcaster. We wanted it to branch out a while, but we never like had the equipment to do it, So, or the audience, I guess. So this is cool. So thanks. You're welcome. You don't have to. Dude, it's fine. Totally. Thank you for being on. Uh, really, the, the topic for today's show is back to school survival. And you probably have more experience, more recent experience with that than anybody else I know. So you're doing me a favor. All right. Yeah, I just finished up. Uh, I just finished up my last year of high school last year. I guess you should say I'm starting college. So I'm going I'm, I am going back to school. You're right in the thick of it. Yeah. I'm starting oh. my first year at a community college, and uh, after, I've got a lot of schooling ahead of me. I just finished the part one. This is the part two of it. I've got yeah. five to six years ahead of me still, so. I don't miss it. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. No? What did you go for? Uh, let's see. First, I went for art. Then I dropped out. Went back for uh, power plant technologies, and then I dropped out again. So two-time dropout, baby. Yeah, I know. I always, from what I could tell, you're an ace of all trades. You do a lot of shit and you do it pretty well. Whether it's digital art, I've seen you do with like the, uh, what was it? The bled design for red handed denial. Or I've seen all that doing like technicians. Whatever you do, I could tell you're good at it. You just carry yourself well. So, oh, well, thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going for a education. And in New York State, you need to major in, or you don't need to. You could kind of do whatever you want, but a lot of people major in education and minor in the subject. So, yeah, I've got a while ahead of me still, if things yeah, go sure. well. Yeah, you don't have to make totally make up your mind right from the get-go. I know I didn't. Uh, yeah, I didn't either. I wanted to be an accountant like two years ago, but I've never <laughs> been good at math, so I don't know where that came from. So, uh so you were like you a have, sophomore in high school, and you're like, I want to be an accountant. Exactly. It was a sophomore in high school, and then something, or no. From 7th to 10th grade, I wanted to be in landscaping, but I wanted to own my own business, so I would have gone for business, and um, that didn't work out, because then, for whatever reason, I decided I wanted to be an accountant. So then I spent all my, in 11th grade, I spent all my time doing that, shadowing, doing all this cool stuff taking these classes. I say cool. It was probably the most boring, like the most boring classes. Shadowing was like three hours and it was just going over like charts and stuff and uh, checking out finances. So I learned a lot, but it wasn't interesting. And then at the end of 11th grade, I don't know. I think I want to be a teacher just because I know how teachers have affected my life and like inspired me. And if I could do that for other people, it'd be cool. So yeah. Holy shit, Mike. You know this is a comedy podcast. You're getting Yeah, no, on. I'm getting I'm getting too sentimental. <laughs> Let's change the subject. It's like you're actually enriching my podcast with with uh actual experiences and, <laughs> and heartwarming things and like any other episode is like, oh shit. I, yeah, I'm yeah, exactly. <clears throat> That's how ours is too. It's just stupid, a lot of stupidness. <laughs> and uh then occasionally we wrap it around with something, you know, news article or just something where it's like, oh shit. All right, let's go back to what we were talking about before. Well, hold up. <laughs> we brought up the podcast like twice now. What's it called? Oh, the Brunch Break Podcast. It Brunch is about... Break pod, what up? Yeah, so it started with me and my dad. We did that for a while. During the summer, we slowed... Like, this is our really slow time because we are so fucking busy with the business. Like, right now, after this, I have to run to MCC, my future college, because they have a baseball tournament going on. And we're vending it. Um, that's where they are now. But I had this to keep me home, which was cool. So, yeah, I'm going in at 3.30, though. Or, well, 3. Um, but, yeah, so then that's oh, why we... Out, it will be a distant memory. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of... We're at, like, an impasse, I guess, with the podcast. 
But uh, we always like how you do like seasons and like sections. And then, you know, like uh, I saw you did one July. I think it was July 7th, the, the Christmas one. Oh, like Christmas, Christmas in July. July. Yeah. Um, but that was like after your season finale, correct? Uh, yeah, we, we always do something like right in the middle there. Yeah, to exactly. Kind of just to keep it fresh. Because that's smart. We don't do that. We just follow the place of the universe. I try to keep up with social media a bit, but it's just so, I don't know. I feel like it takes me a lot longer than it should. I, you know, I'm young, but I have the mind. My body, my mind is old. Let's say that. Like, <laughs> I just got Spotify officially, like, less than a week ago. Um, and then, yeah, my, I just don't work good with, like, technology and stuff. Dude, I didn't get Twitter until after I started podcasting. Like, I'm like, all right, I guess every podcast on the planet has a Twitter. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, dude, it helps so much. It, and even if it doesn't, like, for us, we have a website, so then we do a lot of SEO stuff. With We've talked about this before, search engine optimization. We do a lot of that stuff because, you know, we are still a business. We have a website and shit, and... It all goes back to the website. Every post I so, every post I post on social media, um, you know, it all loops back to that, uh, the website, because that's where we get most of our people from. You know, there's a little bit of hearsay because we do live in a pretty small town, but not really. A lot of it's the website. So yeah, a lot of boring shit. Don't want to get too much into that. Well, what's the website called? The oh, uh, thebrunchboxfoodtruck.com. Which I'm surprised yeah. I got that the first time. Normally, and all, all that information to check out Mike's podcast with his dad is down there in the description. Down there, uh, I say down there in the description like it's a YouTube video. Yeah, uh, no, I do too though. I even did it. Um, we just had people. Below. I know we just made people make our shirts, and I did a video on Instagram, and then I had to cut the very last like half second because I said I'm going to put the link below, so I cut it, so it sounds very choppy. And it's because it is, and it's because I can't talk. Dude, videos are hard. Because I, especially for someone like me, who, like, I can't talk good. So then every video I do for social media, it's like super, super choppy. But videos get the most clicks, I've been told. So I know zero about video, as you can tell by the Santa video that we, that, that Santa did. <laughs> I didn't do it. I had no hand in that whatsoever. That's not me. That wasn't you? Santa. No, that's actual Santa. Oh, okay. Actual killer Santa. <laughs> Old Saint Nick. Yeah, I've been around the house. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, we don't have any. We just have ghosts, unfortunately. Which that would be a cool subject too. That I know a lot, or I don't know a lot, but I like talking about that. So, anyways, what do you have to say about back to school time and stuff from back when you were my age? Be all right. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, that's enough of that. So school, school is a survival experience all on its own, and that's why I wanted you on this episode, Mike. Um, mostly because you're a young man and you're still in school, and it's been oh, yeah. over ten years <laughs> since I've been in school. So, I mean, you got to do the back to school shopping. You got to deal with pointless ass homeroom class. Uh, I don't know how you get this get the school, but I mean, lots of kids go. You know, have to freaking ride a bus. Yeah, no, not for 10 miles. Yeah, even last year, I drove all the way through to see, uh, senior year. I had a car. So then that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be commuting. But it's because, like, right now I'm going to be driving. My shift starts at like three, and I'm still not worried at all about making it on time because that's how close we live to the college I'm going to today and for the fall semester. So it really isn't a long commute, it's like a 15 minute commute. Which isn't, I'm very grateful. <laughs> There's a college right up the road from me, but it's expensive. It's not a community college, and it's for, like, Christians and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. that's not me. <laughs> yeah, no shade to the Christians, though. Please oh, don't, no, not at all. I please don't it. pick it up. Actually, dude, that, <laughs> you know, we might get a news story on the news or something. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, kids, They're everywhere. <laughs> kids, especially, that ride the bus. Like, the bus, when I was a kid, was a nightmare realm of like fights and like people jumping around raising hell it was bad that's I where know. i 
probably learned half my vocabulary was on the bus. All the fox shits, all that stuff. Well, no, not the bus. That was for just growing up with my family. But I learned one word that I won't say. <laughs> but um, I came <laughs> home. I came home, and then I said it. And then I was in second grade. And, yeah, I got grounded. I remember the day, too. And I remember being grounded for saying it. I didn't know what it meant. I, uh, yeah, it's not, yeah, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'll, I'll message you later. <laughs> I was, I was very lucky. Like, uh, I didn't have to ride the school bus after, um, oh, what was it? Second grade, I think. Like my, we moved to a house that was close by to all the schools. So basically walked walked every day, yeah. um, until I was in high school, then I drove. But. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I always spared that a little bit, but uh, let's see what else we got. Back to school shopping. I used to be a um, merchandiser. So like one of the jobs I would get contracted for was to go check the back to school sections of like Walmarts and stuff. Oh, yeah. If you try to even remotely think about organizing like a back to school Walmarts like. Oh, no, you can't. I a Walmart, you can't. It's bad. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So bad. And like, so by proxy, like I also see these people doing their back to school shopping because full disclosure, I don't have any kids myself. So mm-hmm. I've never been on that end of it, but I've seen people be on that end of it and it does not look fun. They have like, nowadays especially, they have like a notebook, sla- you know, filled with like a checklist of things yeah, that no, exactly. school has printed off for them that they need mm-hmm. to go buy. And they have like two buggies worth of of junk, and yeah, <laughs> like two hundred dollars. It's insane. Yeah, for me, I always made sure I like beat the rush because I used to be amazing with planning. So I'd either get a ride from a friend or a parent, or even a couple years drove myself. I drove myself this senior year too, but I went like the day before school started because senior year, you remember senior year? It's pretty much all just like slacking. You're almost done. You don't really care. So then I go the day before school starts. I just got back from my Five Finger Death Punch concert. And then I roll my ass to Target. And then they had nothing there. So I started shitting myself a bit because it's... No, I went to Walmart first. And then they had nothing. And then I went to Target. And then they had some things. And I had a binder. I only grabbed like three things. Because I really only cared about one class. Um, so yeah, that was fun. That was good planning on my part. <laughs> but yeah, back to school shopping. It's something I never enjoyed back when I was younger and my parents would buy me clothes like elementary school and even a little bit of middle school. Mm-hmm. I always dug that because I always needed like nice clothes. I, I also school. worked, uh, again, like I went to a public school and we did not wear, um, whatchamacallits uniforms. But when I moved to Louisiana for a while, I guess all the schools require uniforms down there, which was something totally. Really? Yeah. It's like I worked in a retail store and we stocked that stuff. It was so much, so much uniforms and like every school used them. And did, uh, did you wear it, a uniform? No, God, no. I, oh, I, okay. I went to the public school where we got to wear whatever, whatever yes, gang same. signs we wanted to wear, you know. Exactly. Baggy pants, Jinko jeans. Yeah, I, that was always. Yeah, I say nice clothes. I did that in air quotes. I forgot. You can't see me. But um, lip biscuits, lip biscuit and corn. Exactly. Yeah, that's speakers. Even now, when I go to formal events, even though no one could see it, I still try my best to put like a band tee underneath, like my. Oh, uh, Got to get that red-handed denial pen. You can just put it on your lapel. Dude, if, like I blade. did, I did that for uh, fall this year. And we all rolled up to ball wearing Burger King crowns, and I've got a pin in my coat. It's a nice, it's a sharp looking pin. And then for everybody graduation, check out Red Handed Denial if they haven't already. We have an L whole episode about them. Yeah, I saw that was the first podcast because we did one too, around the same time you did. And then that's actually the first time. Last summer was the first time I heard one of your podcasts. That's awesome. Which is man. cool. <laughs> um. Yeah, and then a pin in, for graduation. So, yeah, it's any formal event, I got to wear red-handed denial. That's, that's my goal. 
Even at, at my wedding. Yeah, I'm going to marry Savannah. It's, we've already announced that on the show, too, but I'm going to marry Savannah and Jacob and because I'm an ordained minister, and I'm going to try and sneak that red-handed, and I'll pin somehow on Jesus, that. Jesus, dude. You've got so much shit going on. <laughs> you do do a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, I never really, never really thought of it, but I guess I, guess I kind of do. You well, know, yeah, you're of, saying all these things that you did or you do, and that's fucking steel, awesome that you can manage line, it all. Maybe. I got a lot of ships in the air. I got a lot of ships in the air. Yeah. Factor of none, jack of a few. All right, moving on. All right. One thing that I can relate to, I don't know what your experience is like, but did you have like a thousand bucks that made your backpack weigh about 10 tons? Back in the day, yeah. Just recently, though, like le- last year, everything's moving, which I'm glad I'm getting out of fucking like the tax paid schools i'm getting out of that now because they're starting to shift over to a hundred percent pure electronics oh which i don't dig i don't like that at all well yeah but the plus side of that is like holy shit like maybe you'll get to where your books are under a thousand dollars a semester yeah exactly i don't know how mcc i know i'm gonna have to be buying books and stuff mcc monroe community college i should have clarified that's the school i'm going to but churchville Chai life. Uh, I don't know if you should have said that, Mike. Now people can find <laughs> you. <clears throat> well, that's where we're going. We even publicize on social media. That's where we are today. So context oh. clues. It's, um, oh, well, I guess you want people to find you to buy stuff from your food truck. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> Come get us. <laughs> I'm like, don't tell anybody where I'm at. I don't want exactly. people to find yeah. me. <laughs> we are very, like, if we piss anyone off, we could easily, like, I'm sure we've even set our website on our podcast before, especially once we, yeah. So we piss anybody off, we could easily have our house burnt down or something. I don't know. Good thing we've only got... I don't even know, dude. Like, with the podcast, I haven't even looked at our SoundCloud. Last I checked, we had, we were at, like, 3,000 listeners. I doubt we're much above that now. <laughs> Just because we haven't done anything with it for, like, four months. So. so, so it's good that you're getting away from that. But in my day, we had uh, so many books that your backpack was 100 pounds. And like I said, I walked... to school pretty much the entire time mm-hmm. again uh, a 100 pound backpack i mean it's it's exhausting yeah for sure i just wanted to point that out as something like like maybe you younger guys are kind of getting away from that so that's good so maybe you don't have to worry about surviving that so much but people like me and and people my age do remember that sort of thing yeah. i just thought it was worth bringing up just a little bit oh yeah did no, you do for any- sure did you do any, like, uh, extracurriculars, like physical activities? or? or... As far as, yeah, k- kind of. All right, so. Oh, did they help did... you get through school? Or no, did, did you just feel like you had to do it? No, I didn't have to do it. It was all optional. Like, I did bowling in seventh grade only. I was a bench warmer. But it was so, like, I don't want to say patronizing because it really wasn't. But I did bowling my entire life, and I still suck. I just have problems with that kind of thing. I suck um, at bowling. Too. Don't feel exa- bad. I suck at bowling. I'm the with one the guy that can say he yeah, actually guy. sucks. Damn it. <clears throat> yeah, anything that involves a coordination or like being like slick, I'm sure you'd be great at it. I suck at it. So then I'm going and I just suck. I went my whole life bowling. Suck. And my, you know, I come from a long line of bowlers. And my sister was amazing. And she was on the bowling team with me. She was in ninth grade at the time or 10th grade. And she was like this, a star player. And then I came up, seventh grade, I suck. And then so, but we didn't have enough guys. So I made the team <laughs> and I bench warmed the entire time. And then I was allowed to play once. And it was our last game because we were already uh, losing. <laughs> and so then he's like, all right, fuck it, come in. So then I do, and I bowl like a 90. So, yeah. I, I got a similar <laughs> I got a similar experience too, but not with bowling. We didn't have bowling, but we had tennis. And so I played tennis and I wasn't very good, yeah. but there was, there wasn't enough guys. So I, you know, I made the team there was only, and then there ended up being only like, I think two or three guys and none of us were very good. And I ended up being first seed. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Which sounds <laughs> cool, but it's not because when you're in the first seed, that means you got to play the other team, the other school's best player. And if you're already not very good, you're playing against the best <laughs> every single match. It's yeah. Really, 
I think I won like one or two matches total in the season. It was bad. Yeah. Was, that, I mean, I like playing tennis a lot, <laughs> and that was rough. Like, I feel like I would have been a good like third or fourth seed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, also, I also played football. Um, do you say football? At least up until my senior year, I didn't make the grades to play my senior year. But oh, well, yeah. I if I was in extracurriculars, then I wouldn't have like. I'm so happy I passed last year. Towards like the last couple of weeks, wasn't looking good. But then two weeks before the year ended, I just like got my shit together because I had to to pass. And uh, yeah, I handed in the worst thing for like my final thesis for English, and I got an 80 somehow. And then my friend got a 70, and he worked his ass off on it. And I did it the day after it was due. So yeah, it was. Um, that was fun. But also... Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, oh, I almost started track and field because of... There were a couple different reasons with a couple different girls that would have been the reason <laughs> I started. But for whatever oh reason... My gosh. We haven't even got into, like, school time love survival yet. Oh I don't my have God. many stories. That's why this is, I like... <laughs> I don't think... Well, I don't think we have enough time to even get into that. Like, that yeah, would I doubt it. Next, next time. Show. That's a whole new... We could just probably do a whole podcast just on school, I think. Probably. We did. And then just like, yeah, girls. They're fun. <laughs> I'm girls. sure you have more. I know you have more um, stories than I do. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know how, how, uh, how many of those I want to talk about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so pretty much moral of the story. I almost started I'm track not. because of a couple different girls. Didn't happen. And... I don't know. I could have killed it. I was fit then. And then I got a concussion and I couldn't really like work out or anything. So then after that, I just lost motivation. I plan to start up again though, which well, is cool. <laughs> to be, to be, I didn't really have a girlfriend in high school. I didn't really start dating dating until right after high school. But I, oh yeah, you know, I wasn't. It was fine. But uh, yeah. another thing that we did, and when I was like, I don't like during our lunch period, we would all play Magic the Gathering for like the hour straight and we'd yeah. always be like the nerds playing Yu-Gi-Oh over there or oh nerds. okay but yeah now it's magic the gathering but we're smart so we were <laughs> like i was like the weird like football kid that mm-hmm. played football but then at lunch i hung out with my nerdy friends and those were like my main friends exactly and then I was like a seat but but on the other end of it like those guys were like really good grades and i was just kind of like a c average student who never passed more than one math class in high school <laughs> mm-hmm. I, to graduate i had to go to summer school which is a whole nother beast no like, i was uh, math, yeah math. one i almost had to go into summer school too but um in elementary school and middle school like i was just that weird kid i always had a weird look i still do but like i've grown into it more so it's like a more evolved weird but anyways, back then, I was just, you know, the weird kid that would just kick ass on the football field for whatever reason. And I was the special kid no one liked. So, um, Aww. yeah, I, I gained some respect with my football skills. And then that dropped off once I stopped working out and stuff in high school. Well, I hear you. Did you ever have to deal with bullies or social cliques or anything like no, that? No, because I did martial arts like, oh, all, really? like most of my life. And everyone knew. So I, I've stopped now. That went along with the concussion. Dude, a lot of shit's changed now. Now anyone could kick my ass. Um, but back then, no one would because they couldn't. Well, no, it's not that they couldn't. Like I was saying, I, was, I had a weird look. So then I just, oh, even now, I just, if I'm not smiling, I look pissed. So I just look like I could kick anyone's ass just for look. And not even, I wasn't even trying. I just looked pissed. I don't know. So, no, I never had to deal with bullies. In short, I never had to deal with bullies. It was, like, uh, me neither. Not not really. I mean, there was a couple, but they never really messed with me. Uh, like, kindergarten through second grade was really bad, I remember. Like, one particular bad memory, there's this guy. I guess he was running. Like, I was getting a drink at the water fountain, and he thought he could jump over me for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Jump when he tried to jump over me, he basically slammed my head. He like landed on top of me, slammed my head into the uh, uh, water fountain. Oh, so I'm like that. a little kindergartner, and I'm crying, and I'm like yeah. hurt. And 
and like my head looks big and swollen up and like the principal i guess i don't she didn't see what happened but like i'm crying and stuff <laughs> it was not good it was mortifying she led me to like the first graders or second graders class yeah i don't i don't Cry. remember what <laughs> she led me there like this crying kindergartner with like a big old bump on his head she said point to whoever did it and i'm like oh my god yeah it's got to be the scariest thing oh. ever Oh, I had it. She made me like rat out somebody, like like just like that, in and front I, of everybody. That's like, oh, and I did in front snitch. of everybody, and I didn't know who did it. And she was <laughs> certain that I did know who did it, and I just didn't want to rat him out. Yeah. So I pointed at a, some random kid, <laughs> and he did it. He got I sent swear. to the he got sent to the, the principal's office, and like I didn't know if it was him or not. I probably ruined his life. <laughs> set him, set him on a journey of near dwellism. Yeah, Brandon, that's the thing. I'm sorry about that. If you're listening, <laughs> um, that's the thing. Is I never had to deal with bullies, like in terms of like getting bullied. But I was a fighter, <laughs> like at least elementary in the first half of middle school. I would fight a lot with like my friends, and then even people I had a problem with. But like, it was never anything like you know. We weren't trying to kill each other. It was just sure. like, a, all right, we're at school. Why don't we fight? So then we did. I never get, I, I fought so many times. And so did my friend. But my friend, we're like best friends now. I even did a podcast with him. He's like my new co-host. He fought twice or something. And he got in trouble for both with like the school. First half of middle school, maybe even further than that, I fought maybe 11. And I didn't, I never got caught for one. But I was, you know, me and the guys that I did, there were only, like, three guys, maybe. I, it, it was just several times. And those guys are some of my best friends now, which is weird. Well, but, what's it's up? easy to, you know, especially, like, bullies. Like, they're people, too, and dealing with other things. And sometimes it's a phase that they're going to grow out of. Exactly. Uh, I feel like it's a little easier nowadays because for, especially with, like, feeling sharings and stuff like that. Like you really couldn't do that when I when in my day, like it wasn't cool. Like as a dude, like yeah. you know, feelings are bad. Go exactly. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you like you just didn't do that. You know, mm -hmm. what's it called? Toxic masculinity, something like yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah. But nowadays, yeah. it's cool to be. It's cool to be different. It's cool to be a nerd. Nerdy guys are awesome. People, exactly. You know, Marvel is in Marvel and DC are in the mainstream. I mean. That was crazy. Like, if you liked Spider Man when I was in junior high, like, you were a fucking nerd. You're a fucking yeah, weirdo know. nerd. Uh -huh. Now, like, who doesn't like Spider Man, for instance? Like, exactly. Like that. Even me, I'm not even a big fan of Marvel. But back in the day, I loved Spider Man just because I liked I I watched every. It wasn't it's the just, Amazing Spider Man then, it was just Spider Man. Just in crazy the theater. How stuff entered the mainstream and become cool. Like, if nowadays, if someone's like, oh, I don't, I'm not really into. Marvel, you're just like, what? Yeah, no. But believe it or not, dude, it's happening with metal. Like, even just really? like a couple years ago, you know, people will give you weird looks for wearing some death metal t-shirt or whatever. But now, like, think about who isn't. I'm sure it has a lot to do with, like, the pop yeah. artists or rappers that you are... Should, you should move to West Virginia, bud. That, that ain't happening here. Like, if you don't... Like, I don't know who Travis Tritt is, and I asked someone who Travis Tritt was the other day, and they looked at me like I did not deserve to live. They're like, how can you live without is, knowing so. who Travis Trickle is? I'm like, look, Kate, look here, girl. I don't know who Travis Trickle is. I don't even want to know. That's, Country artist? <laughs> that's what I sound like outside here. Like, look, hey, <laughs> look here. I'm from West um, Virginia. Yeah, uh, dude, it's, uh, it's changing, kind of, a little bit. Here it's changing, where... I'm not, it's not, you're not giving a weird, obviously if you're wearing like a Butcher Babies t-shirt, you get a different look than like if you're wearing Metallica, but it's definitely starting to become a little more normalized, I think. Not with all the music I listen to, but with some of the music I listen to, where you aren't, you know, you don't look like a Satanist walking around. Uh, well, you still get plenty of that where, yeah. you know, growing up and being here, like, um, there are plenty of people that 
that have asked me if I'm a Satanist because I have like a Lamb of God shirt on or something like that. Um, you know, it's what it is. And the same thing in high school, like if you weren't into rap or like, I don't understand, like, uh, I don't understand how you can like it. It's so loud. I can't understand anything you're saying. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. No, no, I don't know how to help you, bud. Sorry for the background noise, people. I'm trying to make some coffee here, damn it. My coffee maker just shit itself. Like, it broke. I messaged you. That's why I was late. I ran to Tim Hortons really quick. Hey, you can't say Tim Hortons on this podcast. They are not sponsoring us. Tim Hortons, send me money. Well, not going to lie. Here's ruining any chance. They are not that. They're not my preferred coffee. But they can be if they sponsored the Brush Box Food Truck Podcast. If they do, because <laughs> that and was the original die, plan. Start the apocalypse, the podcast. It, dude, it's, we're, we're putting it out in the world. We're putting it out. Casting the line. We did our part. Now they have to do theirs. <laughs> now we just wait for the month, for the yes. paycheck. Now we just sit, it, sit by the phone. Tim Hortons, get on there. <laughs> Mike, thank you so much for joining me today. Dude, thanks for having me. It was awesome. Hey, and all you folks, we're not done yet. We'll be back. We're going to take a break here, and then we're going to come back with Deva. Deva's back, the spider lady. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she is currently, she just finished up her um, schooling. Don't quote me. I've already forgotten off the top of my head. I'm panicking. <sighs> what was it? Ugh. She went for, like, fireman school, and she's starting EMS training, and she's already like a licensed animal doctor person. So she's super oh, smart. <laughs> yeah, she's like insanely smart. So uh, she's on a different schooling path, and we're going to get her take on going back to school. And we might do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and, and yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. So enjoy the ad, the this PSA that's going to run right after this. Mike, any last things you want to say? Uh, other than just check out. I'll, I'll plug myself because I'm weird. Um, Brunch Box Food Truck normal. on Twitter, Instagram, all that shit. All right. Thank you brunch for having bod. me, man. Br- really appreciate brunch it. Bod. Brunch Bod. The Brunch Bod? Brunch Bod. Brunch. <laughs> Say it one more time. I can't talk. Uh, Brunchboxfoodtruck.com. Brunch, brunch Box Food Truck. It's a tongue twister. All information is, is in sure. the description. You can't get it. But, Mike, thanks for joining us. We will see you. Very shortly here, in, during the month of October, I'm just going to tease that. This is a Halloween special show. Still with me? Yeah, I didn't hear what you said. It's a, it's a, it's a Halloween special show. And you're going to be on. It's in Hell October. yeah. I love Halloween. <laughs> it's a, yeah, we'll touch on this. Oh. Oh, she's she's already my dog's already scared about it. I don't know if you're scared around. <laughs> he but, seemed pissed. There was anger yeah, behind that. Yeah, I know. She just had surgery and she's just loving it. Well, Mike, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, you too, man. Thanks, thanks for having stuff. me. I can't wait to hear the new brunch box stuff when it comes out. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, see you, man. What's that, girl? You like Let's Die, the His vs. Her's Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast? We should listen on the PodCoin app. It pays you to listen to this podcast and many more. Just get the PodCoin app on iPhone or Android. It's free, super easy to use. You can search for a number of things and download them, do a playlist, and listen. You earn points by listening, and you can use it to claim gift cards or donate to charity. It is truly remarkable. You can get Amazon or Starbucks gift cards, or you can do what I do and donate to feeding hungry animals in shelters. It's really great. Go to your app store on Android, or you can go to whatever it's called on the iPhone. Seriously, just go get this app. You gotta do it. Anything less is just a crime against nature. Not Hey, hey. Listen to Let's Die, the His vs. Guide to the Apocalypse. Use the code Let's Die, L-E-T-S-D-I-E, and you'll get 300 coins just for signing up if you use that code. That's 300 just for signing up if you use Let's Die. 
So give PodCoin a try today. You got it? Got it? Good. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that fancy ass. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's done. It's fixed. I heard some weird interference. The aliens are coming. Joining me for this second half of the show today is the very lovely Ava. Hi, Dave. Hi, Brett. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. Fantastic, please. We've been talking about going back to school uh, with Mike in the first half of the show, and he's a very young man who's getting ready to start college for the first time ever. And you're kind of a little bit on the opposite spectrum because you're a fancy pants, smarty pants, and you've been to school plenty of times. Because I'm old. <laughs> no. Not what I said. The opposite, you, because you're old. <laughs> no, no, you just go for di- much different, much different things, and you, you, you've been through what he's been through, plus more. Ugh. That doesn't make you old. Kind of does. Though. I'm, I'm wise and experienced. Ugh. yes. Good luck to you, Mike, and you're trying to find your classes with, with other people doing the same thing. Didn't you just finish uh, a certain school, Leo? I did. I just finished my academy that I was in. I am now an EMT, and I'm just waiting to apply to paramedic school. And you're just... I'm having a throat. I want you to save me right now, apparently. It looks ischemic. Oh, that was bad. Wow. I really did have like a mini stroke for a second there. Wow. It's fine. I, I, I'm, I'm a trained professional now, so. So save me from across the world, Deva. Just checking on Tun Tun, the pod dog, seeing how she's doing. She's just scratchy. Hi, baby dog. Um, so what, if you could sum up your experience with school, how would you do so? What would you say? Um, I actually really liked going to school, so just study. That was my jam. And different for beautiful girls than it was for us. Yes. Uh, dudes, the uggos. Yes. So I've heard. Yeah, no, I, I actually really liked going to school. And um, I mean, there were classes that I didn't like, but for the most part, I liked, I liked that setting and studying and, uh, I remember my roommate and I, we would, uh, we were poor and we thought we were so cool to drink Bloody Marys in the morning, but it was like a can of V8 juice, but like half of it poured out and then very cheap vodka poured into it and then Taco Bell hot sauce packets. Oh my God. And you stir it up a little bit with your coffee straw, and now you have a college dorm Bloody Mary. And that inspired you to become an EMT. So I could save all of those dummies that are <laughs> doing falling down the stairs because they're drunk before 9 a.m. <laughs> I could have used you last week as much as I drank while I was on vacation. <laughs> it's okay to drink. I'm an advocate for that. Oh, man. I was in... So many breweries. So what we're going to do is we did one of these, uh, I think, in the first season of Let's Die. I don't remember where it is. Ten points if you can find it and listen to it. Um, We're going to do a little script reading of a little show called Hey Arnold. And I thought it was a little cautionary tale for going to school that we can enjoy. We're going to totally do this off the cuff. Um, I've read it loosely. I read it three times over. And I know it by heart now, so. And you're, you're, you're good at studying. <laughs> so, it makes sense. So, for this, I will be doing the part, the the, uh, the narration, the stage direction-esque. I'll do a couple of the characters, and uh, you'll do a couple of the characters. So, now, we present here on Let's Die Theater, Classroom 206. Season 2, Episode 1, New Teacher. Hey, Arnold. I screwed that up. Interior, Classroom 206. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, it's the next morning, and the class is back with Lieutenant Major Goose is in the class. The words math quiz today are written on the board. Mr. Goose is standing behind the teacher's desk. <clears throat> Mr. T Mr. Goose. Now, you little bunch of ragtag fourth graders, I'm determined to make each and every one of you a socially acceptable human being. Gerald. Uh, why? Mr. Goose. Why what? Gerald. Why are we ragtag? You're undisciplined. Arnold. Why do you have to yell all the time? Why are your shoes always so shiny? Why aren't you oh, still okay. in the army? Did you go AWOL or something? Sit down! Gerald. Gerald. Why did you decide to be a teacher? Goose begins to look nervous. Phoebe. Why don't you ever ask what we think? Enough questions! Arnold. Why don't you treat us like individuals? Why are your pants ironed so nicely? Gerald. <laughs> Why don't you teach us anything? Why do fools fall in love? Stop these questions! Helga. And why are you starting to sweat, Lieutenant Major? <laughs> Gerald! Why can't you handle all of our questions? Goose begins humming an army song. <laughs> I don't know army songs. Stinky. Why are you humming that patriotic song? Mr. Goose collapsed to the floor on his knees. Bombarded by the class's questions, the entire class minus Arnold begins laughing at Goose. The camera switches to Goose's point of view for a few seconds, humorously showing the faces of the children distorted. After a few seconds, Principal Wartz enters the classroom and breaks Goose out of this trance. Perfect Principal Wartz. Why are you doing this, Mr. Goose? Is this part of the lesson plan? Goose stands at attention as if he was in the army. Mr. Goose. Sir, may I be relieved of my duties here, sir? Does this mean you're quitting? Goose salutes the principal. Sir, yes, sir! And he runs out of the classroom, down the hall, screaming, <laughs> Principal Warts. What am I going to do now? <laughs> Arnold. Uh, Principal Warts, you don't have to look for another teacher. We found one right here. Mr. Simmons walks into the room. Hello, class. The class cheers loudly. Now, I know we had that scheduled math quiz, but schedules are for lieutenant majors. He erases the words math quiz from the board. Today, we're going to have some unscheduled learning, and what better way than to take a hike and have an outdoor picnic? What do you say? The entire class cheers. So, camera fades out. And what did you think? And scene. And scene. 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 What did you think of that? I have no idea what was going on, except Lieutenant Major sounds like he has a little bit of PTSD, mm -hmm. which is a serious problem that our veterans have. God bless America. Foreshadowing by a 90s cartoon, but also I would say that in the show itself, this scene seems to favor the children and the compassionate nature of Mr. Simmons. However, I will say if when you're reading it on the page, it sounds like the children are really mean and bullying towards a awful, a, a vulnerable veteran and basically laugh him out of the classroom, which sounds terrible. In a corner, holding his knees. Yes. This so, children are sinister. Children are sinister. Ooh, is that the name of the episode? <laughs> Back to school. Children are sinister. <laughs> it, chapter two. Uh, I don't know what that, why I said that. But, yeah, so bullies aren't cool, no matter how old they are, mm -hmm. and if you have PTSD, get help. There's a hotline for it. There is, and I don't know it offhand, but Google is your best friend. Hi, what are you doing? My dog's acting weird. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this special Let's Die Theater segment of the episode. Deva? Yes, sir. Before you, ooh, ooh, sir. Dava, before you go, is there anything you'd like to say, ma'am? I would. Uh, the crisis hotline number is 855-339-1144 if you need help. Oh, my gosh. You are so fancy and so thoughtful. You and Mike both enrich this episode with genuine feelings that 
make me well up with feelings that I don't understand. Mm. I might need help. This is a comedy podcast. Y'all stop injecting good stuff. <laughs> We're not good at having excellent content. This is ridiculous. This is a this is a whole new season. That's true. But don't content. get don't get used to the warm fuzzies because we'll be back to our regularly scheduled stupid stuff very soon. But anyway, welcome back to school, kiddos. Enjoy it for the next 20 years. Number two That's pencils. It. What? Don't forget your number two pencils. Number two pencils. Don't forget a sharpener for when they break. And don't stab yourself with them. Don't run with them or scissors. Okay? All right. That's it. Dava, you got anything else? That's it. You got a website? I do have a website. Yeah, give me that website. Right. Very non updated website called uh, www.thespiderlady.com. Thespiderlady.com. We're just waiting for a big corporate spider to swoop in and offer like a hundred grand to buy the website name from her. That's the only reason why I have it. Very excellent pictures on there. Go check it out. Go read the stuff. Check it out in the description if you forgot that. Or you can rewind 10 seconds and, and listen again. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, check out Michael's podcast, the Brunch Break Food Truck Podcast. Information's in the description. It's a lot. It's a mouthful. Also, check out Anderson Pooper on Instagram. <laughs> Is that Anderson.Pooper? It's actually the dot anderson dot pooper I there you go the, the dot anderson dot pooper at instagram check that out all the information will be in the description thanks everybody so much for listening rate review all that crap and we'll see you next week oh <laughs> and uh yeah so an alarm just went off on my phone and it says it's time to go bye everybody <laughs> david say bye bye <laughs> Ha, <laughs>Hey, this show is brought to you by Hashtag Team Cyanide. Let's die the His vs. Hers Guide to the Apocalypse, the podcast, and Pokemon After Dark Ride. Check out our family of merchandise over at tpublic.com slash user slash Team Cyanide. Check out the all-new Happy Birthday Pod Dog shirt to celebrate our one-year anniversary, the Season 3 logo for Let's Die, and keep checking back for our back catalog of merchandise to show up in the future. Also check out the all-new Grackle the Tackle shirt. You can get stickers, mugs, bags, and more. So check that stuff out, and thank you very much. Bye!